In the early morning hours at Cape Canaveral, a lone rocket stands against the darkened sky. Steam rises from its frost-covered body as liquid oxygen courses through its veins. This isn't just any rocket. This is the Falcon 9, SpaceX's breakthrough that changed the course of human spaceflight forever. 96 successful launches in 2023 alone, each one a testament to what many said was impossible. But behind these triumphs lies a story of calculated risks, countless failures, and an unwavering vision that drove a small team of young rocket scientists to reshape the aerospace industry. The year was 2002. While the space industry giants continued building disposable rockets that cost as much as a small city, Elon Musk and his fledgling company SpaceX dared to ask a different question. What if we could bring them back? What if we could land a 40-meter tall rocket traveling at hypersonic speeds, vertically, on a floating platform in the middle of the ocean? It seemed absurd. The physics alone made it appear impossible. Yet today, we've witnessed this impossible feat over a hundred times. The same booster that first carried astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley to the International Space Station has now flown an astounding 19 times. But the Falcon 9's journey wasn't just about proving the skeptics wrong. It was about something far more crucial, dramatically reducing the cost of access to space. In just a decade, SpaceX has slashed the cost of launching one kilogram to orbit from $10,000 to $2,700, a 73% reduction that has opened the gates to a new era of space exploration. This is the story of how a desperate gamble became the most important rocket in the world, a tale of innovation, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of a dream that could one day take humanity to Mars. Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk founded SpaceX in 2002, Mars wasn't just a dream, it was an imperative. But the path to the red planet had an insurmountable obstacle, cost. The numbers were staggering. At $10,000 per kilogram to orbit, establishing a Mars colony would require more money than the GDP of most nations. The solution wasn't just to build a better rocket, it was to fundamentally reimagine how rockets work. The story of the Falcon 9 begins not with triumph, but with necessity. In those early days, SpaceX was burning through Musk's PayPal fortune at an alarming rate. The company's first rocket, the Falcon 1, had yet to reach orbit after three failed attempts. The pressure was immense. Musk had enough money for just one more try. The entire future of private spaceflight hung by a thread. This desperation drove innovation. The young engineers at SpaceX couldn't afford to follow the traditional aerospace playbook. They needed something revolutionary, yet simple enough to be reliable. This led to the birth of the Merlin engine, the heart of what would become the Falcon 9. The Merlin engine was a masterpiece of pragmatic engineering. While other companies were pushing the boundaries with exotic fuels like hydrogen, SpaceX chose a simpler path. They opted for refined kerosene, essentially highly purified jet fuel. The engine's design was elegant in its simplicity, an open cycle gas generator system that used a miniature rocket engine to power the main pumps. By putting everything on a single drive shaft, they created an engine that was both robust and cost-effective. But building a reliable engine was just the first step. The real challenge lay in what seemed like an impossible dream, bringing the rocket back from space the conventional wisdom said it couldn't be done. The physics seemed insurmountable. A rocket booster traveling at over 8,000 kilometers per hour would need to flip around, survive re-entry, and somehow land precisely on a floating platform in the ocean. Many questioned why SpaceX didn't simply use parachutes like NASA did with the Space Shuttle's solid rocket boosters. The answer lies in the brutal math of orbital mechanics. The Falcon 9's first stage flies higher and faster than the shuttle's boosters ever did. At those speeds, no parachute could survive the forces involved. SpaceX needed a different solution. The breakthrough came from a counterintuitive idea. Use the very engines that launched the rocket to bring it back down. It wasn't just about slowing the rocket's descent. The engine exhaust would create a protective barrier during re-entry, shielding the booster from temperatures that could melt steel. This rocket shield was a stroke of genius that turned the laws of physics to their advantage. 
The path to successful landings was paved with spectacular failures. Each attempt taught valuable lessons. The first attempts ended in fiery explosions on the drone ship. But with each failure, SpaceX gained crucial data. They added grid fins for better control during descent. They developed sophisticated algorithms to account for wind and weather conditions. Slowly but surely, they began to master the art of landing rockets. The evolution of the Falcon 9 reads like a testament to perseverance. The first version, standing 46 meters tall, was modest by today's standards. It had no landing legs, no grid fins, none of the features we now associate with reusability. SpaceX knew they needed to walk before they could run. Each version brought new improvements. The version 1.1 grew to 68 meters and introduced the distinctive OctaWeb engine layout. The full thrust variant pushed the boundaries of performance with super chilled propellants, but it was the Block 5 version that truly revolutionized spaceflight. This was the culmination of everything SpaceX had learned about reusability. Every detail was optimized for rapid reuse. The landing legs could now retract automatically. The grid fins were upgraded from aluminum to titanium, capable of withstanding the intense heat of re-entry multiple times. A new thermal protection system covered the entire rocket, while a sophisticated liquid-cooled heat shield protected the engines during the fiery return to Earth. The results have been nothing short of revolutionary. Consider Booster B-1058, the same rocket that carried astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken to the International Space Station. That historic first crewed flight was just the beginning. That same booster has now flown 19 missions, shattering all expectations of what a reusable rocket could achieve. The economics are equally impressive. SpaceX has reduced the cost of reaching orbit by 73%. At $2,700 per kilogram, space is more accessible than ever before. This isn't just about saving money, it's about opening up new possibilities. Satellite constellations that were once economically unfeasible are now becoming reality. Scientific missions that were once too expensive to consider are now within reach. But perhaps most remarkably, SpaceX isn't content to rest on these achievements. Engineers now believe the Block 5 boosters could potentially survive up to 60 launches and landings. Each flight provides new data, new insights, and new opportunities for improvement. The company continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, refining their processes, and increasing efficiency with every launch. The success of the Falcon 9 represents more than just technical achievement. It's a vindication of a different way of thinking about space exploration. Rather than accepting the traditional aerospace industry's cautious, expensive approach, SpaceX embraced rapid iteration and learning from failure. Their mantra became, the best part is no part, constantly seeking to simplify and improve their designs. The impact on the space industry has been profound. Traditional aerospace companies that once dismissed SpaceX's reusability goals as impossible are now scrambling to develop their own reusable rockets. The cost reductions achieved by the Falcon 9 have become the new standard against which all launch vehicles are measured. As we look to the future, the Falcon 9's legacy extends far beyond its impressive statistics. This rocket hasn't just changed how we reach space, it's changed what we believe is possible. From its humble beginnings as a desperate gamble by a cash-strapped startup, the Falcon 9 has become the workhorse of a new space age. It's proven that with enough determination, innovation, and willingness to learn from failure, even the most ambitious dreams can become reality. The journey of the Falcon 9 reminds us that the greatest breakthroughs often come not from following established wisdom, but from daring to question it. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries with their next generation of Starship system, the lessons learned from the Falcon 9 program will light the way forward. The dream of making humanity a multi-planetary species may still be ambitious, but thanks to the Falcon 9, it no longer seems impossible. The Falcon 9's journey from ambitious experiment to the most reliable rocket in history embodies the spirit of innovation that defines our era of space exploration. As its landing legs continue to touch down on drone ships and landing pads across the globe, each successful mission writes a new chapter in humanity's quest to reach the stars. But the Falcon 9 is more than just a technological triumph. It's proof that the impossible becomes possible 
when visionary thinking meets relentless determination. From slashing launch costs by 73% to achieving 19 flights with a single booster, SpaceX has fundamentally rewritten the rules of spaceflight. As we look toward the next frontier with Starship, the lessons learned from Falcon 9 light our path forward. The dream of making humanity multiplanetary no longer seems like science fiction. It's becoming science fact, one landing at a time. If you want to stay at the forefront of this space revolution, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours. Hit that like button if you found this story as inspiring as we did, and share your thoughts about the future of space exploration in the comments below. We bring you the latest developments in aerospace technology and space exploration every week with in-depth analysis you won't find anywhere else. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the stars. See you in our next video. In the world of rocket engines, there's always a next level. While everyone's talking about Starship's Raptor 3, the powerhouse that's already pushing the boundaries of what's possible, SpaceX has been quietly working on something even more extraordinary. Meet Raptor 4. This isn't just another iteration. It's a complete reimagining of rocket propulsion that's about to change everything we thought we knew about space travel. With unprecedented power levels reaching 330 tons of thrust, the Raptor 4 isn't just breaking records, it's shattering them. Think about this. When the Saturn V took humans to the moon, it was the most powerful rocket ever built. The Raptor 4 will help create a vehicle three times more powerful. That's not evolution, that's revolution. But raw power is just the beginning. What makes the Raptor 4 truly special is how SpaceX has stripped away complexity, replacing hundreds of parts with seamless engineering that's both lighter and more reliable than anything that's come before. Today, we're going behind the scenes to reveal exactly how SpaceX is building this game-changing engine, what makes it different from its predecessors, and why competitors are struggling to keep up. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The story of Raptor 4 begins with a challenge that seemed impossible just a few years ago. When SpaceX first unveiled the original Raptor engine, skeptics said its full-flow stage combustion cycle would never work reliably. They said the pressures were too high, the engineering too complex, the goals too ambitious. But SpaceX didn't just prove them wrong, they rewrote the rulebook of rocket engine design. Let's take a moment to understand just how far we've come. The journey from Raptor 1 to Raptor 4 isn't just about increasing power, it's about rethinking everything we know about rocket engines. Back in 2019, when Raptor 1 first fired up at SpaceX's test facility in McGregor, Texas, it was already pushing boundaries. But at 185 tons of thrust, it was just the beginning. Raptor 2 marked the first major breakthrough. SpaceX's engineers accomplished something remarkable they stripped away complexity while adding power. The engine shed 400 kilograms of weight while pushing thrust up to 230 tons at sea level. Every gram of weight reduction, every percentage point of thrust increase, represented countless hours of innovation and refinement. Then came Raptor 3, and with it, a fundamental shift in engine design philosophy. The numbers tell an incredible story. 280 tons of thrust at sea level, scaling up to 306 tons in vacuum. But what's truly revolutionary is how they achieved it. The team eliminated entire subsystems, removed heat shields that everyone thought were essential, and integrated components in ways that had never been attempted before. This brings us to Raptor 4, and the numbers are staggering. 330 tons of thrust. That's more than 50% higher than Raptor 1, achieved in just a few years. But raw power isn't the whole story. What makes Raptor 4 truly special is how it generates that power. The secret lies in what you don't see. Traditional rocket engines are marvels of complexity, hundreds of individual parts working in precise harmony, but with each part comes a potential point of failure. SpaceX's engineers looked at this problem differently. Instead of accepting complexity as necessary, they asked, what if we could make it simpler? The result is an engine that looks deceptively basic from the outside, but inside it's a testament to engineering elegance. 
Where Raptor 1 had multiple separate cooling circuits, Raptor 4 integrates them into a single, more efficient system. Where traditional engines use mechanical joints and flanges, Raptor 4 employs advanced welding techniques that eliminate potential leak points and reduce weight. This simplified design carries another crucial advantage, manufacturability. While the original Raptor required weeks to assemble, SpaceX can now produce multiple engines per day,